So, Matt, thank you so much for coming on the show. I see behind you uh, the Grace College uh, flag that's behind you there. So um, tell me a little bit about your role with, with Grace. Sure. Yes. Uh, thank you for asking. I'm the director of marketing for our entire school uh, it, in charge of uh, promoting our traditional, our online and our seminary, and then helping with advancement as well. So that's what I do here. And then in my spare time, I help out with Grace Outdoors, which we're going to talk about in just a second. Now, uh, Grace as an organization is uh, very much steeped in the community and they very much get out and about and meet the community. And um, even a lot of local people end up going there and staying in the area because they've got such a great sense of uh, togetherness that they that they bring. Um, but with this event that's coming up, is this something you're just doing on your own or is it something that is officially part of Grace? Well, it started off actually before I came to work at Grace College. We, we've been doing this for quite a while. It, uh, but we've continued the tradition now as part of Grace Outdoors. Grace Outdoors is for, for students uh, to be able to participate in outdoor activities like mountain biking, hiking, camping, canoeing, things like that. But we also, as part of Grace Outdoors, we want to make sure, like you said, give back to the community. And this is our way of, this, this upcoming event is our way of doing just that and giving back, involving the entire community and then giving back. So this event is coming up in a couple of days on February 3rd. So tell me a little bit about Hike to Help. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, what we're doing is we have, a, there's a family that's in need. They don't have any idea that they're going to be the recipient of the money. They're just, we have a conspirators helping us to get them to the event. But everybody that participates, there's, it's free. It's a free event, but we're asking that they donate. And by donating, they get their name put in the hat to win a $500 Amazon gift card. So there is a benefit to donating, but uh, what we're going to do is just go get together as a group and, and uh, line up and then go hike around one on a lake and the, the path, nobody knows, but uh, except for us. And we're going to just take people on a surprise hike through the community. And then we'll end up, it usually takes about an hour or so. And the good news is that uh, by February 3rd, you know, everything is completely kind of a, uh dried up now and there's not as many slick spots with the cooler mm -hmm. temperatures um, that we've been having over the last few days. So uh, we say hike to help and you talk about this special family that's going to get help. So and um, people listening to this, they they didn't hear it wrong. You're, you've literally chosen a family and they have no idea that all of these people are about to wrap their arms around them, not just that's with true. donations, but also with their love. Yeah, that is it. That's it. And it's, it's so neat. We've done it with this. Is, we were trying to think back how many years we've done it. We've not always called it hiking head, hot chocolate and headlamps. It just has kind of like that <laughs> nice alliteration. But we've, all, we've been doing it for quite a while. Sometimes we will just march. We'll all hike to a recipient's house and <laughs> knock, knock, knock on their door. And there are a couple hundred people out there saying, yeah, we love you and we care about you. And here's some cash from the, from the event. So it's been, it's been so neat. The response is just so it's 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 a it's a blessing for the participants and it's a blessing for the recipient too. It's just a way of loving our neighbors. We love doing that. Well, I'm a big believer. Um, I thank God every day that my journey towards faith has gotten a lot stronger over the last couple of years, and I truly believe that um, it's only a blessing when you share it. So whatever you have, it's not a blessing until you then share it with other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and people will get to see tangible. Uh, evidence of those their actions like they get to see the response and that the family that's getting this money is just going to have their socks knocked off it is going to be <laughs> such a neat opportunity we can't wait so this is hiking hot chocolate and headlamps um so <laughs> i like that you came up with all those three so hot chocolate's always good on february 3rd i mean we still need hot chocolate despite the temperatures getting a little bit better and um, where are you guys meeting what time um on saturday let me know about all that Okay, we're, we're meeting on the Grace College campus, but there's a particular building on the Grace College campus called the Gordon Health and Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do there, that'll be our central location to gather. We get everybody together and then we, we do the hike. And that goes, about, like I said, take about an hour or so to do that. And then we'll gather back up at the, the same uh, building that we left from. And then we'll have the, we'll do the presentation. We'll surprise the recipient. And well, then we'll also do the giveaway for the, the $500 gift card. 
And, you know, of course, um, people sometimes they do love, you know, even if you're offering a T-shirt or something, people like that as an incentive to give. So I like that you have mm-hmm. the Amazon gift card. So if people come along, there's no right or wrong amount. If they give $10, for example, they're still entered to win this $500 gift card, right? There's no amount that they have to give. No, nope. we've had people give a dollar. And if that's what they can give, that's wonderful. They want to give 5000 That's even better. <laughs> but to whatever amount is, is wonderful. Hey, the thing about it is, is that when you give money, it's what you're really giving is your heart. And depending on what stage you're at in life, depends on how much you can actually give. But what you're actually really giving is you're letting people know they're not alone. Yeah. Yep. And for us is to let people see Jesus through us. That's what our goal is. Yeah. Well, we're, <laughs> we're made in his image. So, mm-hmm. um, and when it comes to this family, without giving it away, obviously, how did you decide on this family? Like who, who decides that? Okay. Each year we put our feelers out, so to speak, and, and try to find, you know, under the radar, we like who, who's the family that needs help, you know? And we just, we have enough connections throughout the community that uh, between my wife and I, you know, she runs a, a, a organization called Boundless, which helps people and in, in that are in recovery uh, from drug and alcohol use. And so uh, we, we are, she has a, a large community of people who, and know people who are in need and then also by working by working at the school and being involved with the community i have access to other people and so we put our feelers out and then this uh this particular person in, in the family you know was brought to our attention and so we thought oh wow, that is a perfect opportunity uh, to really bless this 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 family who's really down right now and you know there's nothing better than being able to try and give them a hand up out of that position you know it's such a difference a hand up is so different than a handout because mm-hmm. a hand up is really as you said the community coming together to really not just lift them financially or whatever um, they happen to be in right now but also lift their spirits and let them know that they're part of a community and they matter for sure for sure that is our ultimate goal we we can't wait to do that to just to know they may feel isolated and alone at this point but when they see all these people, we'll, we'll take time to just talk to them and we'll pray with them and just say, and send them on the way. And we, if they cry, it's, they're going to be tears of good tears. We hope, and we hope kind of hope they do. I mean, that means that there's some, they can see that emotion or if they break out laughing, that'd be better, I guess. <laughs> well, and you know, there might also be people who show up to this hike because um, I notice that the more good I try and do, people say, I wish there was more people like you, or they say things like that. And I say, well, be that people like just just do something good, show up. So I encourage people watching Experience Michiana right now. Don't just sit at home and hope for a better world. Um, I love a phrase that Mother Teresa had, which is, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. Um, and that's really where it starts. And, and to me, my community is my family. My neighbors are my family. And so the phrase, go home and love your family, doesn't literally just mean the people inside your house, but it's the people that you see every day. And, and you know, there might actually be people who show up to this who might have money that they're able to give. They mightn't have any financial problems, but they might feel isolated. And by showing up to this, it might actually kind of reaffirm that there is a beautiful community there too. So there's lots of ways for people to enjoy this. Absolutely. And and it is just so random. That's what makes this so fun. It's, it's just kind of goofy. Like who wants to go hiking at seven o'clock at night? You know, <laughs> and, and, and it turns out it's just a, you see headlights and just see this glow. People are glow sticks around their neck and they have headlamps on and little kids and older adults and everything in between. It is just such a sight to behold. You can tell, you know, pretty much all the traffic stops in one of the lake and people come out of their houses and like, what is going on here? <laughs> we, we really love that. And of course, um, the building again is the, the Gordon Health. Health and Wellness Center. Mm-hmm. Health and Wellness Center, uh, which is on Grace College campus. Um, I assume people that are not familiar are able to just uh, park in there. There's no issues with parking in there. Yeah. This event. yeah. Right. Yeah. They, the, the address was, is uh, 100 Publishers Drive in okay. one of the lakes. So, I mean, if they punch it, if they put in Gordon Health and Wellness Center in their GPS, it'll take them to, and there, there's parking run where they can park wherever they want to on campus. Now, I had the pleasure of going down to Winona Lake this year for a wakeboarding experience, which is actually a Grace College student who runs that, Jack. Yes. Mm-hmm. A great young guy, you know, lovely family. And um, 
that was great to see it because I'd never been down there. So I would actually oh. encourage I'd actually encourage people, um, maybe if they haven't been down, because you know when you think of Winona Lake, if you live in South Bend or something, you think, oh, that's like so far away. But mm -hmm. maybe people could come down to the area a little bit earlier. Is there any restaurants around there that maybe they could grab oh. something to eat before they come to life? Yeah, for sure. We have multiple restaurants. There's also an ice skating rink that we have too. So if you oh, want to cool. go ice skating before you go hiking, warm up your legs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm sure that they would love to see that. You know, would uh, be wonderful. Yeah, there are tons yeah. of things to do down here. When I'm like, and it's just a little gym. It is. It's it's absolutely beautiful just to look at it as well. Even from the lake, looking in at the town, it's like. It's like it's almost like it is like a hidden gem. It's like in a way that the sense of community and time kind of stood still a little bit there, not in a way that it it isn't forward thinking or progressive, just in a way that it just captured the sense of what a community is supposed to be. It it really is. That's just so cool. We had a tree lighting ceremony before Christmas, and people were the crowd was singing Christmas carols, and I thought, man. This is a Hallmark movie waiting to be made right here. It is so neat. So yeah, it's part of my job, you know, as a the, the director of marketing to get this news out. And I appreciate you helping. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So this Saturday, February third, six thirty is where when you're going to meet, and then seven o'clock. And uh, so people bring themselves. They they can bring their headlamps, and mm -hmm. uh, you guys have the hot chocolate ready to go. Or oh yeah, <laughs> yes, free hot chocolate. <laughs> All you can right. drink. Yep. Thank you so much. And more importantly, from my own point of view, thank you so much for continuing to show up uh, for God every day and actually, you know, being the, the person that he intended you to be oh. by helping others. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.